And today we are going to do a skin assessment or the integumentary system. So first you are going to identify your patient and introduce yourself. So hi sir, my name is Joseph Anthony De Matera from Southwestern University Penma and I'm going to be your nurse responsible for today. Can I ask for your name and birth name? My name is Ronald Edgoso, January 6, 2004. Okay, so the way you ask for your patient's identity is by asking the two patient identifier, such as their name and their birthday. Next is you then explain the procedure. So sir, the, the purpose of skin assessment is to determine and to check for any uh, partial changes on your skin and to, um, to detect and to prevent from worsening. Next is then you perform hand hygiene to prevent contamination and spread of bacteria. So I'm going to do um, hand hygiene. And then after doing hand hygiene, we then ask for the patient's consent that we are going to do a skin assessment to them. So sir, are you okay that I'm going to touch you first? So, on assessing the skin, our first step is to um, inspect the overall skin for the skin coloration. So, sir, I'm going to turn over here. The purpose here is we're going to check for any um, discoloration of the skin, such as pallor, jaundice, cyanosis, and erythema. Next is we are going to inspect the skin for vascularities and any bruises and swellings. Here we're going to check for vascular such as varicosities, um, swelling, infections, and any lesions. Next, we are going to palpate using the back of our hands to check for um, any potential hypothermia or hypothermia. Um, skin turgor. The purpose of skin turgor is to determine the hydration status of your patient. So here we do um, skin turgor on the clavicle. We do it like this, not we only pinch a little and let go. If it reverts from the skin less than five seconds, that means that the patient is hydrated. But if it's not, if it does not revert from more than five, um, the patient is dehydrated. Next is we palpate for the edema. Edema is um, fluid accumulated specifically on the lower extremities. It is a shiny dull skin. So sir, and here we're going to check for edema. We palpate and let go of it but if and if it does not revert that means it is possible pitting edema. And then we um check for any lesions on the legs. If there is, we then apply gloves. We then um, check for their nail um, formation. We um, check for their um, clubbing, um, some convex nails, for, or any um, changes in the nails. We then ask for the patient for their hands. We check for their nails and their capillary refill. This is how you do it. You press their thumbs and let go. And if you, at first there is still white and if you let go of it, it will turn red. And it reverts back to its normal color. That means circulation is good. And if it does not revert back to its normal color, that is possible for circulation indicating to cyanosis or power. Next is we then um, apply gloves since we are going to be inspecting the hair and their skull. Okay, so after um, putting on gloves, we are then going to inspect their head and skull. Here we are we're going to check for any dandruff or any infestation. If you can see dandruffs or any um, dryness, that indicates that the patient has poor hygiene or possible dehydration. 
And of course, if there are infestation, that also indicates that the patient has poor hygiene. After inspecting and checking the hair and scalp, we then do after care. We um, do perform hand hygiene and then document the procedure and so also um, settle your patient to a comfortable position.